Well, we know that the lungs age over time and in very elderly people you see structural changes and inflammation which are very similar to the pathological changes that we see in COPD. So our thinking is that COPD represents an acceleration of the normal lung aging process. Well, I think we now know a lot about the molecular pathways of aging, and we can see that many of these pathways are activated in COPD cells and lungs. And so this gives us a great chance of understanding the underlying driving mechanisms of the disease. There's a lot of evidence that the accelerated aging is driven by oxidative stress, which is markedly increased in the lungs of COPD patients. And this activates a pathway called PI3 kinase mTOR signaling. And we've shown that this then activates messenger uh, microRNAs, which then reduce anti-aging molecules, leading to the accelerated aging pathway. And we know that there are several drugs that can block this pathway at various stages in the cascade. And so this is very promising for future drug development for COPD because it targets the underlying disease process. This is a, a very important issue because we don't really understand why some smokers are more susceptible to developing airway obstruction than others. But it may be that they have a greater propensity to aging in response to stress. So it may be that many genetic and epigenetic abnormalities would give you a susceptibility to accelerated aging. Well, many of the chronic diseases that affect people in society are found increasingly in elderly people, and they often occur together, which is what we know as multimorbidity of the elderly. And it turns out that these diseases, which include atherosclerosis, chronic kidney disease, type 2 diabetes, all share common pathways of accelerated aging. So our idea is that aging can spread from one organ to another through particular microRNAs and this leads to COPD patients having multiple comorbidities.